Hello everybody, my name is Amelia and it is time for another one of my monthly Ipsy videos. I got my latest Ipsy right here. It has actually been sitting here at my desk for about almost four days now. I just, I just had a bunch of work come up. I'm working a lot of hours, dealing with all my free time. Um, just working on my house and getting other things in order. Point is, it's just been hectic. I kind of said some of that stuff in my most recent video I uploaded, but I have no excuses. I just have been really bad this lately. So let's go ahead and open this again. Um, and again, it's kind of funny. I don't know why. I feel like this one actually came much sooner in the month but I could just be imagining things. I mentioned in my lapse at CVO <clears throat> about just how they always seemed like they were coming late in the month, but I guess that's not the case with this one. I really don't know what to think. So anyways, point is, um, we should just dive right into it. By the way, if you hear any noises in the background, that would be my roommates. I This is a new thing I have to deal with, being that I'm on YouTube and all this other stuff. And so, oh, and by the way, new setup. My bed's in a new spot, desk has moved. Kind of a little bit of a different arrangement, so we'll have to see how this goes. Um, sitting down is not my ideal planned position, but we'll just see how that works. So, I'm going to go ahead and pull this out, and I can already tell there's something that did not fit in the bag. Okay. Oh, there goes the bag. <laughs> um, so, they threw this in there. Now, again, I really don't know. Now, I know like some months. So, like, I got an email allowing me to customize one of my items in my February bag. I had opted for a, a type of foundation. So we will probably see that in the next video. But um, I haven't, I don't usually respond to the emails, which is probably a bad thing. I probably should respond to those emails to customize my bags. But let's just start off by saying I got another one, uh, <laughs> another um, brush. And it did not fit in their bag apparently. I like how they sometimes get these on. <laughs> All the stuff that they put on these are so cool. Let's see, 160 F face brush. I don't know, never heard of that brand. F A R A H. I mean, it's a face brush. I have a couple of these. I don't actually use too many face brushes in my makeup, <laughs> but I definitely know I should probably use them more often. I need to, there's some regimen things I need to work on with my makeup. So anyways, um, <clears throat> the bag has kind of a marble texture to it, which hopefully you can kind of see this. I know I kind of, I always have my light almost so bright, it's so hard to see my stuff sometimes. And it's this time, oh man, I know I'm like nitpicking over every little detail about these things. Usually the zipper's in the top, but this time it's actually kind of off to the side, but anyways. Got a few items hidden in here. What do we got? Here's the card, which is apparently buried under all of it. And let's see, dream big, win big. Okay. Clean slate. This is a new year. Say goodbye to what no longer serves you. That's actually a really good idea because I have like a ton of makeup that needs to go in the trash. So, unlike last month, we actually have a description of each item. Could you see that? Oh yeah, you could. Um, so yeah, they threw in the face brush. Um, we have a pore glow mask, a tea tree balancing foaming cleanser. Ooh, I could really use that. And it looks like some lash um, mascara and a tinted lip balm in color Hannah. So I'm gonna set that card right here. So we can go ahead and. <laughs> if it focuses, you can kind of see what we got going on here. So, always nice to have these. Okay, so I'm going to first grab, first thing that my hand grabs, obviously, 
And that is the Tea Tree Balancing Foaming Cleanser for Aromatica. It's a vegan formula. Ooh. I know my best friend would love that. <laughs> Anyways, this is a fairly large tube. Um, let me see how I... I always like to smell these things. As I just throw that on. <laughs> this might... I'm trying to make an effort of cleaning my face more often. Because I have noticed that as I get through my transition and my skin changes, which it's been doing a lot lately, I also notice that I tend to get... What's the word? Like, I, for one, I become more acceptable to the things that girls get to their faces when they don't take care of them and clean them, I guess you could say, if that's the right word. Anyways, so let's see. Mmm, it's got a nice scent. It's definitely not as strong as I would have suspected it to be. Just want to kind of put a little bit on. So, you, you can see that. That that's, actually feels really nice. Ooh, it does tingle. I love I love cleansing products that actually tingle. So, um, on to the next item here. Um, let's see. Pore Glow Mask. Ooh, wow, that is really starting to tingle. I, again, I really do love products that do that. Um, let's see. Brighten and Glow. Apply enough amount. Let's see, what brand is this? JJ Young. Evenly on your face. Leave on for 10 to 15 minutes. Don't clean. Oh, rinse with warm water. Hmm. So another facial cleansing product. Which, to be honest, <laughs> I'm okay with that. Like I said, I'm trying to clean my face more. And giving me some brands to try, I'm. That's a great way to try them out. Oop. Okay. Um. There was a seal literally in the stuff. Okay, it's not very scented. Okay, this is more like it does feel more like a scrub. It's got like little. It's got, I don't know, I don't want to say like it's got scrubby stuff in it, but it definitely works kind of like a scrub. So this one actually right now is tingling a lot on my face. This one is, um, kind of feels refreshing. Anyways, I'm going to have to try both of these after the video. See how I like them. By the way, I keep forgetting that I keep bringing up like, oh, I'm going to try a product and then come back and see how I like it. And I'm sorry, I really don't do that, do I? I really need to work on that for my videos. Let's see. What is this? Made in China. Not exactly the first thing you want to read on a product. So, beauty for real. All natural ingredients. Vegan. Cruelty free paraben free brook oh this is that um lip gloss it comes in the color hannah i didn't know hannah was actually a color but hey who am i to judge <laughs> there's quite a few colors out there and it's amazing what they named some of them so oh that oh it's like a lipstick <laughs> Anyways, it's kind of been interesting. I never really like these lipstick, lip gloss dispensers. Uh, okay, kind of hardish. It's not like super soft. Hmm. Looks like it's a lot like the color I already had on. Maybe not too much darker. Um, but whatever. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I just realized I was putting my card in front of my microphone. Let's hope that didn't inhibit my audio too much. And, oh, that was weird. I thought I didn't pull that. Oh, by the way, look inside the bag. They put the Ipsy straight inside the bag. It's really cool. All right, Lash Next Door, Blackout. 
be honest, I'm not like a huge fan of just black mascara. I mean, it works on me, I know that, but yeah. So I always like doing my bottom lashes. I know I've had a few people try telling me, don't do your bottom lashes, but personally, I've always liked doing it because I always feel like it, it euthanizes my face. But, you know, <laughs> some people are crazy. I know, that's probably not the thing to say. <laughs> Anyways, so I didn't really do, I can't, I don't have a mirror. Actually, that is a good idea. If this is my new position for doing makeup, I should put a makeup mirror right here. Be perfect, right here on my desk. <laughs> Anyways, so that's nice. It did actually, I did, I have to say, yeah, my comments on this product. I do like the brush, bristles on it. Um, they're a little more, come on camera, a little more spiky, a little more uneven, which I kind of feel like will probably get a better result versus the ones where they make them all like very uniform. And you see so many different ways they like to do it. They do the fine bristles and the thick bristles, and I don't feel like any of it actually works. Um... So, yeah, this is a Brooklyn in Bailey Lash Next Door. It's a pretty decent sized container. So, anyways, by the way, something that I have been meaning to wanting, wanting meaning to do, um, I do very much enjoy doing makeup, and I do have plans of wanting to enhance my makeup work as much as I don't really feel like I do, like, I really have much to add, but I do really do like looking at makeup. So, I don't know, as much as I have gotten feedback from a couple people who say, well, I'm not really into the makeup videos, I'm not really into that, and I'm like, I totally understand. But it is something I enjoy, so if I ever do makeup videos, it is more for one of my personal things. Um, something I do want to focus on as far as going into makeup is just considering the fact of doing makeup more from the position of somebody like me who has to deal with certain masculine features that mm, things I can't necessarily fix. Like there is certain things about my face that I realize um, can't be fixed without surgery. So kind of one of those things I need to f I want to really focus on with makeup. You know, either trying to hide them, things to avoid. I mean, I know it's something that could help other trans women or even just cross players in general because I've been doing cross play for a long time too. So anyways, again, <laughs> I literally have just five products sitting here. Um, I'd say value of the bag, getting the brush and the cleansers. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? <laughs> the brush and the cleansers really did make the value of the bag pretty decent. Made in... I can't even read what country that is. My... May... Mayan? Myanmar? Okay. Hey Google? What country is Myanmar? Here is some information about Myanmar, Burma. Myanmar is a oh, it's in Asia. Asian nation of more than 100 ethnic groups bordering India, Bangladesh, China, Laos, and Thailand. Yangon, the country's largest city, is home to bustling markets, numerous parks and lakes, and the towering gilded Shvedic. I don't know why this is from that country. It's like, oh yeah, all made in China. Not this. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Say thank you to Google, and also apologies if I just set off a bunch of your phones too. I always find that funny when people do things like that. So, anyways, you all stay lovely, and I'm gonna cut this video. I apologize for that last video I did that was 45 minutes, and yep, just let me know how you like any of this. And by the way, I realize I literally have, I'm not even like doing a good job hiding my bra straps. <laughs> I just was kind of like in that mood. I was like, hmm. Let's uh, let's do a video. I need to get this makeup thing done. This has been sitting here for four days. Let's just get this done. Anyways, I will catch you all later. And don't forget to follow me on social media, subscribe, the whole nine yards, and you stay lovely. Bye now.
this cleanser is starting to kind of burn. 